All right, hello everyone. Thank you for joining us today. My name is Tim Upton and I'll be your host. So for our agenda today, I'll start off by introducing our speakers, then we'll dive into our presentation. So now I'd like to introduce our first presenter, Rakesh Patel. Rakesh is the VP of Innovation here at ADF Engineering and has over 20 years of experience in engineering, project management, construction, and operations. Um, next, our second presenter is Matt Hunkler. Matt has been with ADF for just over 15 years as of this June. And during the first half of his career, he focused on structural engineering and then transitioned in the later half to primarily focus on project management. So now I'll turn it over to Rakesh and Matt for today's presentation, Decoding Front End Loading for Capital Projects, Planning and Execution. All right, uh, thank you, Tim. And uh, good morning and good afternoon to all of you. Uh, Matt and I are really glad that you guys have decided to join us today in this webinar for what we consider to be one of the most influential drivers for project success. Uh, as a consulting engineering firm, we do a lot of capital projects, uh, close to 400 capital projects every year for our client. And uh, we follow this methodology closely and we advocate following this methodology closely because of all the results and positive outcomes that we have seen. So I'm going to jump right in. So this is our agenda for today. Uh, FEL or front on uh, front uh, end loading framework is uh, what we'll talk about. Uh, it was something that was developed in 1990s by uh, various contractors that were working for Department of uh, Energy basically to improve project performance. Uh, you may have also heard about other terms like FEED, F-E-E-D, which is uh, front end uh, engineering design or PDP project delivery process. Some people use the terminology BDEP. Fundamentally, these are all similar approaches and the terminology differs from company to company. But as far as the basic tenets of the approach goes, uh, it all matches. Uh, then we'll also delve a little bit into stakeholder management and uh, managing risk and how it ties with the front end loading process and then how it all culminates into capital cost estimating and how can we improve capital cost estimating accuracy and things like that. And finally, we'll take your questions. So what is FEL, right? Why does it matter? So what if I sat here and told you that there is a structured and uh, stage gated and uh, proven methodology that is available for project planning and execution that can provide all this benefits that I'm going to bring up here. So you can get cost savings anywhere from looking at past projects and history. And these are numbers from Construction Industry Institute. They collected data over 24 years and you can see the web link here. You can go to the page and find more details. But they typically have recorded cost savings uh, on total install cost anywhere from 6 to 25 percentage on projects, right? They've also seen uh, schedule reductions because of not having to redo things and not having to revisit things and question your decisions. There's a schedule reduction of similar magnitude of 6 to 30 percentage. They have documented that for every dollar that you spend on the front end uh, planning process with consultant and yourself, you're typically likely to see about three to ten dollars payback, right? So three to ten times payback, which is pretty good. You can accurately capture project scope because very many projects start with not well defined scope, and then as you progress. Uh, you have to go back and revisit the scope and redo things, which always impacts your cost and schedule. And we'll dig into a lot of deep details about that in upcoming slides. Uh, we want to set the stage for successful construction commissioning on our, our projects, right? And then uh, finally, we want to make sure that the stakeholders are engaged and uh, happy, you know, if not always happy, mostly happy. And basically save a bunch of, if you're a project manager, if you're an operations manager, if you're somebody who's uh, responsible for executing capital projects, uh, you want to save yourself a bunch of headache and heartburn in the process and do it in a streamlined method as possible. So basically front end loading 
it provides the owner with uh, better information. It provides you more control for 